So in 2005, 6, 7 we were excavating here on the National Trust for Scotland's property in Warren Field at Crathus and we were excavating up in the corner of what is now an agricultural field, a series of pits which amazingly were dated to the early Mesolithic, um, which was absolutely incredible. The, the site at Warren Field is extremely important in British archaeology and in fact it is one of the most important sites in northwestern archaeology overall. It represents a time when, when people became concerned with anticipating, measuring time and in some ways represents the start of history. It's constructed of a series of pits in a, in a general arc, currently 12 in number, and these seem to represent, in the way that they're structured, the phases of the moon. It goes from, uh, from waxing to gibbous, full, and back to waning again in a, in a general arc. The number of the pits suggests that they correspond to the lunar months um, over a year, 12 in total. However, because the lunar year does not correspond with the natural year, the, this, the, this, this sequence has to be calibrated annually in order to keep the seasons in line. And what the site does, it seems to align upon the midwinter um, sunrise, the solstice, um, in December, every, so that every year the, 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 the calendar was effectively calibrated and started again and kept good time. Although originally excavated in 2005, geophysical survey teams from the universities of Birmingham, Bradford and St Andrews have been working together to map the site again and also to see whether there were any further features within the area. Human communities may well have been aware of the passage of time, but Warren Field represents a, a point, a specific point, where they a structure was built and set to anticipate time as well as to appreciate it, and that's a, a big change. It's anticipation of time to come as much as time past. And why they did that, of course, we may never be 100% sure. It may have been something to do with um, planning for the arrival of game, resources that they relied upon, the running of fish, um, but it may have been much more arcane than that. The, passage of time, the movement of the celestial bodies may have been deemed to govern the arrival of, the, the, of game and fish, but we can't be sure. But it is, does represent a, a, a very different appreciation of time and its importance overall.